Greetings from Robot Japan. Today we've got the GA78 Vanguard Ace. This is the standard size toy. Uh, people affectionately call it ST size, but um, that actually just means it passed safety test. So, uh, standard size Vanguard Ace. We've got, as a quick comparison, the Deluxe Vanguard Ace right behind it. It's quite large and uh, the deluxe box is right, let's put it here and we'll pan out a bit more. By the way the deluxe is GA79 where the GA78 is EA tall so I'd say it's probably, let's call it a good two and a half, three inches different in height. Uh, but enough of the boxes at this moment. Great toy. Uh, this guy is almost perfected in terms of the sheen. You're going to be able to see right here how glossy everything is. Uh, the chrome, well, it's got chrome on the tips of the toes. Absolutely magnificent chrome underneath on the side. This is all all die cast on the foot, lower leg, die cast on the waist, die cast throughout the core of the chest. These right here are doors that open. Voila! Die cast gizmos inside. And then the upper portions of the arm and shafts are die cast. Um, my particular guy has not been circulated or used, so these holes meet with the backs of a wing um, with really nice graphics and I'll put them back. Uh, the reason I mention that part is because it's sort of an unusual setup. He came with foam rubber for my purchase. Usually this yellows, it happens to be relatively white because it uh, must have been well packed in storage. Comes with a great illustrated catalog, or excuse me, Great Illustrated pamphlet talking about his shin guards, how his fists shoot, how the back goes. Um, the head shoots off. If I press that belly button launcher, doors open, and then the artists on this project really had some amazing drawings to share with us. Uh, inside you get a spare set of uh, those shin spikes and a spare set of fists and box art wise uh, really nice it has a very mild crease in it I think somebody might confirm it later I, I'd heard rumors that like depending on where you make your purchase like if you bought things in a train station they'd actually collapse the boxes and give you some foam rubber. Um, other locations like physical stores they give you a foam pack for the inside. So uh, yeah this guy is foam rubber. You notice this crease right here that's the one I'm talking about where when you get the foam rubber um, a lot of times these boxes were pre-creased for some reason and uh, it's definitely a distinct difference because I've got a lesser quality of this guy nestled in styrofoam um, but just him being kind of new old stock condition I believe it helps confirm that these toys were uh, sold both in rubber and in styro so I'm gonna put them on a quick merry-go-round with his brother and uh, Enjoy, it'll 
compare and contrast the two. Cheers from Robot Japan.